everyone! Today, Cheyenne and I are going to take a professional bird training course with Bird Tricks. As many of you already know, we have a 25-year-old rescued blue and gold macaw named Cheyenne, who I have known personally and have had longer than I've known my husband Ed. So she and I go way back. I've had her since I was 16, actually. So she and I are very close. And she is a plucker. She is a rescue. She plucks her feathers. It's a bad habit she picked up from her previous home. And like biting your nails, it's a very tough habit to get them to stop. We've had her tested. It's not anything health-related. It's just a behavioral problem of hers. However, she is fully flighted. She has all of her flight feathers here, so she's a she can fly, and she does wear these sweaters to help cover up her nakedness on her body. We are very thankful for our fans who make or crochet these sweaters and th send them to us because she wears them 24/7, like literally. She's always in one of these sweaters, albeit some of them last longer against her beak than others. But currently, she has this nice little green and gray sweater on. Anyway, we have been working for several years now on flight training her. And although she will fly towards us sometimes, she does occasionally veer off to the side when we're trying to call her over to us, and it's tough to get her to take off from a perch. Instead, we have to almost like thrust our arm forward to get her to actually take off. But today, actually this whole weekend, we have Dave and Jamie from Bird Tricks, which they are a professional bird training business, and they have their own YouTube channel you can check out. But they're going to be here all weekend at Snake Discovery to do a one-on-one -on -one training session with Cheyenne so we can work on her flight training. And this entire weekend, actually, we are going to be hosting bird tricks for them to teach their master class all day Saturday, all day Sunday for the public's birds. This is a pre-registered event. I'm so excited to see what different species of birds show up. And I don't get to play with birds that often or see many birds often since we're so uh, into the reptile world, but I just can't wait to see how this whole weekend goes. As far as our one-on-one -on -one training with Cheyenne, I don't have super high hopes with her, to be honest. She's not a very trainable bird. Like she, I don't know, she kind of trains when she feels like or learns when she feels like learning. She's picked up a couple things. She can say hi, hello, step up. Um, but as far as behaviors go, uh, it's tough to train her to do anything new. So I will be very curious to see how Dave and Jamie approach training Cheyenne and we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll be able to work on her recall training. Who knows? Jamie and Dave are with us here from Bird Tricks and I'm so excited to spend the entire weekend with you with all these master classes and working with Cheyenne. So we have already talked a little bit about Cheyenne's history and her previous training, but what we're really going to try to accomplish throughout this weekend is just solidifying or really just improving her flight training uh, altogether. So what do you think is the plan of attack with Cheyenne? Well, I want to start by saying I think this is really cool because Jamie's favorite thing is diet and my favorite thing to teach is flight. And just in a little bit that we had that we got on camera a few minutes ago, we learned a lot about the diet and I'm excited to implement that so we can really dive into flight. Yeah, I think we're going to do a combination of both, but where we want to start, I think, is with a little treat test to see what we can get Cheyenne excited about to use as our our food reinforcer for the rest of the week. And the reason we heard that and we hear this from a lot of people is, oh, my bird doesn't like to train because it doesn't like treats. Hence the diet and now the treat test. So we're really gonna fine tune everything that you thought you knew about Cheyenne. We're gonna try to turn upside down and give you even higher results than what you've already got. Yes. Sounds good. So we're gonna start with a treat test to figure out what motivates her. Yep. Awesome. Okay, Cheyenne, you have to actually work with us today. <laughs> yeah, you have to do a little bit of work today. All right, you wanna explain what's going on? So we have a whole smorgasbord of treat options, thanks to our fans sending us all sorts of treats in the mail. So uh, Cheyenne no. is, we're, I think what we're gonna do, and correct me if I'm wrong, there you go, she, she wants to dig she's in. She's trying to figure, she's gonna help. I'm not ready yet. She's like, I wanna help you set up this uh, treat test. I think the plan for the treat test is to pile up a little bit of each one and see what she goes for first, right? Yep. Okay. And then hopefully by seeing which uh, treat she goes for, we can learn what will motivate her the most. And then we can use that as our training reward for good behavior. Okay. We're going to start Cheyenne on this side and we have all of our treat options here. What, what all did we end up putting? So we did walnuts, pecans, pumpkin seeds, almonds, and then the Harrison power treats. Okay. Perfect. We'll put her right in the middle. <laughs> Ready? She's like, let's go. Go. Happening? Get your treat. The <laughs> <laughs> treat is Emily. I'll go to the other side. <laughs> Although I think she's probably just gonna come here. Here, I'll start her and then she'll go away from me. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Yeah, just walked right over. <laughs> do, you you want, do you want to explain your bird? <laughs> 
I don't know, what do we do from here? <laughs> you look delicious! <laughs> I guess so. You chose me over all the treats. I just am very humbled. Thank yeah, you, Cheyenne. Yeah, there you go. I love you too. So what would be the next step? Letting her go a little bit longer so we uh, can try the treat test again? The first step is getting the diet right. So since the diet isn't where we would need it to be, then waiting a little bit longer to optimize the hunger is, Yeah, uh, yeah. In, in place of having the right diet. So yeah, I think that that would be the next step for today. So one thing we haven't mentioned yet uh, in this video, we've chatted about it already, yeah. like before we started filming, but Cheyenne's diet, step up, is currently Zupreme pellets, the natural Zupreme pellets mixed with like a Golden Feast mix, which is like the dehydrated, or free, dehydrated. dehydrated, dehydrated fruits and veggies. And after chatting just now, I'm learning that that actually, even though Zupreme claims to be a good brand, and it's hopefully still better than a seed diet, right? Yes. Okay, so we've got, we've got that, but it's still not the best diet because it has a lot of fillers. So because Cheyenne, after eating that diet, from what I understand, yeah. having a lot of fillers, she's just not motivated to go after any of these treats right now. So we're learning a lot already. We've been here together for less than an hour. So, so um, with that, that being said, since she is currently on a not ideal diet, which we are going to switch, yeah. we're instead today going to just wait until this afternoon when she's a little bit more hungry and then we'll see what she does. Yeah, we'll yeah. see if she's finally interested in some food rewards versus right. human rewards. Another way to look at it too is that she's an athlete, so we just need to nourish her body accordingly. All right, so what are we doing, Emily? Uh, we are going to actually start with some target training. Yes. So I only have experience target training an alligator. Which uh, is I have, a lot different. <laughs> I assume it's a little different than target training a bird. So could you yeah. kind of in a nutshell explain bird version of target training? Yes, definitely. So with parrots, we traditionally use a chopstick and a training clicker. I put them one on top of the other just for ease of being able to use this. I'm going to ask her to touch the very end. Now the main thing with target training parrots is that you ask for a gentle touch. Touch, we're not looking for a bite. We're not looking for a grab. We're not looking for anything aggressive. We just want her to curiously touch the end of the stick. So okay. I'm gonna try to go in relatively slow. Um, if she is not naturally curious and doesn't wanna investigate this with her beak, then I'm probably gonna use a little bit of luring where I hold a treat nearby the end of the stick and get her to accidentally bump it. And okay. hopefully as she hears the clicker and starts to get some treats, she'll realize and make the connection yeah. that touching the end of the stick is getting her the treat. Cool. Perfect. All right, yeah. let's see what happens. All right, girly. Oh, oh she dropped it. <laughs> we let her sit for like five, seven hours too. Yeah. So, Let's try five, seven hours. Five, seven hours. Five, five seven there hours. There you go. Mm. <laughs> okay, now Did I think she, she yeah, she ate it and she pinned. So she okay. understands what's going on now. <laughs> She's like, all right, okay, I kind of got this. So the big thing is notice how far, Jamie, do it like exaggerated slow motion coming in. Okay. And notice the key to this is that if she's reaching with her upper mandible and tongue, it's impossible to bite it. Mm, See that? Point. Yep. If you go too close, she can bite it because her lower mandible is then part mm -hmm. of the equation. Yeah. But the goal is to, in the beginning, keep the lower mandible out of it so that you aren't accidentally pairing aggression with target. You're only getting calm because it's impossible to be pissed off and be like, eh, <laughs> yeah, right, target, right? right. So uh, that's that's what we go for. She was already anticipating that. See what happens she around here. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I think we're gonna practice this a little bit more and come back in a little while. All right, it is day two, and before all the students arrive today for the first master class, we're gonna do a little one-on-one -on -one with Cheyenne. She hasn't eaten much uh, since yesterday, two days ago, so she <laughs> should be hungry and motivated. Well, to she work. was. You were working with the the clicker training, and she was working really well on that. She was doing really well with the, the clicker training, or the, the target training, target so that training, was good. Yep. So now we're gonna, since we have a little extra time, do a little bit of flight training. And I think the idea is, can we step up? The idea is just, she, she doesn't like stepping up onto my hand. This no. is something else we're working on. <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. Um, when we flight train her at home, it's usually from your arm to mine. Yep. And in order to get her to go, you usually like twist your wrist a little bit when I say go, so she takes off. Uh, but we're thinking if we put her on Dave, because she's scared of men, that'll be the uh, encouragement she needs to leave him and come to me just because she is scared of you. Just from the term go. Just from the term go. So hopefully Dave doesn't have to like move his wrist or anything. She'll just go on the cue because she wants to leave his arm or his hand. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's not happy right now, but hopefully. Ready? Ready? Go! 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 Ready? Go! Just doesn't want to take off though. So let, me, let me change the scenario a little bit. Okay. Okay, now. Ready, go. Go. Yay! Good girl, you did it. 
Oh. Hooray! I should have had the clicker. Yeah. I, I forgot the clicker. That's okay. Lots of verbal and yeah. reward. <laughs> All right. Oh, she's getting the treat. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, she she goes for the that white for eyeball. <laughs> she's so hungry. She went for the white eyeball of the plate. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. Or the the concept we're working off of is that I want to be just uncomfortable enough that it elicits an intentional flight from her without me having to physically do something to send her. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't want to make her fly. I want to set up a snare so she so she chooses to. Hmm. Should we try that a couple more times here yeah. and see what yeah. happens? Yeah. Don't forget your clicker. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Go. Go. Yeah. I didn't move at all. <gasps> Good girl. Yeah. Do you want a treat? Will you eat it? Oh, good girl. All right, I guess mm, she will. It. Yeah, she actually ate the treat. Yeah, and again, well, letting her hang out with you is key here because she's flying to you because she wants yeah. to be with you. So letting her have that time is a okay. huge reinforcer. Give her some pets. Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> That's what she likes. Yeah, I think she's preferring the attention because she just took the treat and hid it under her tongue. <laughs> she didn't actually eat it. She's, she's like, I'm saving this for later, but yeah. right now. I, I gotta point out that that concept of you petting as a reward, everybody wants that to be the reality. And I would say you're one of the very few exceptions where that's actually true. If in the environment the bird doesn't like to be pet, then you're accidentally punishing. Clearly uh, she yeah. likes to be pet here. <laughs> yep. A lot exactly. of people are like, yeah, good bird! And like yelling at the bird and shaking it and Love patting it. it on the head. The bird is like, ah! Yeah. And, uh, I'm this, tolerating this. Yeah. <laughs> And, and so it would discourage flights, right? Yeah, I mean, that's why we gave up on having treat rewards with her because mm -hmm. she never took the treat from us after she did something good. So that's why we instead started saying her Praising. favorite phrases or favorite words as the reward instead and like yeah. the physical attention. So um, I think pairing the two will transition from like the bonding experience to training. All right, should we do one more rep and then call it good? I think so. Okay, here you go. Okay, so this time I'm going to intentionally try to change my hand position by just simply lifting up my thumb. Okay, that'll be your cue. Yeah. Okay, ready? Go! 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 Come here! Shannon, go! Shannon, go! Nice. <gasps> good girl, okay. you did it! What a good girl. Gonna eat it? Oh yes, you are. You're on my arm instead of my hand, but you okay. still did it. Good girl. All right, the first students of this weekend are here and they have the class just starting. So I think we're gonna take a break from Cheyenne's training and check out all the awesome training that's going on in this classroom this weekend. All right, well, all of the classes for the weekend are now done. So we have a little bit or one more chance to do some one-on-one -on -one training with Cheyenne. And Ed and I have been working with her throughout the weekend. I think we've been making some progress. So and we also have, still have some other birds in this room. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the background noises of Green G. Conyers. Uh, but now we're gonna take it to the next level, I think, with Cheyenne with her flight training. So do you wanna explain what we're gonna try next? Yeah, so my goal is to totally phase myself out of the equation. And I heard clickers going off in the background earlier, so I know Ed and Emily had success with some of the training. So today we're going to take use of the scientific term of behavioral momentum, which more or less simplified is like playing Simon Says with a bird. It's just gonna be Simon Says fly, Simon Says fly, fly. So on that third repetition, we're going to change it slightly. So at first, Ed will have uh, Cheyenne here and release for the first flight. We'll repeat that to create a pattern of momentum, release for a second flight, and the third flight will be from the countertop and stepping back and hopefully using that momentum to encourage a third flight. The reason we're using the countertop is it is a area she's not super familiar with and is slightly uncomfortable, I hope, as opposed to a tea stand or something where she probably doesn't have the motivation to leave. We don't want to- So you know her so well. We don't want to do that. <laughs> we want to be someplace where she's like, ooh, this is not something I'm really comfortable with, but I'm going to be more comfortable if I make the decision to make a flight I'm capable of doing to go to Emily. So that's the goal, fingers crossed and we'll see what happens. All right, ready? 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 Cheyenne, go! So Ed, extend your arm out slightly further from your body. There you go. Okay, Cheyenne, ready? Go! Ready? 
You ready okay. to go? All right. Go! Good girl! Good girl! You did it! Sorry we freaked out the birds on the floor! Yeah. <laughs> but good girl! Okay. Ready? Cheyenne. Go! You're so close. Ready? Go! She was gonna go to you. I thought she was bypassing you as well. Yeah, she, she would usually off. take off at that point, but she actually curved back, which she hasn't done before. So should I have her sitting on the table yeah, and she... then do the ready, ready, go? Yeah. Okay. I see. Your body's blocking, blocking, yeah. blocking. Okay. Okay. Ready, Shan? Ready? Go! So Ed, come stand behind Emily. Okay. Train, go! Go! Ready? Go! Ready? Come on. Oh Shan, go! Ready? Go! Shan! Come here! Shan, go! Ready? Go! We're super close. We so Cheyenne, close. Cheyenne, I'm over here. Ready? Cheyenne, over here. Goodbye. I'm leaving you. Goodbye. Cheyenne, just take off, please. <laughs> please, Cheyenne, go. Oh, Cheyenne, Cheyenne, over here. Good job. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheyenne, go. I saw it. Come on, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Come over here, Cheyenne. Come on. Ready? Come on. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Oh, go. Go. momentum I was going for, <laughs> but it proved enough that she's capable of doing that. Yeah. I'd love it. Like we're kind of a spot where oftentimes we say, okay, that was great. Let's stop there. But we're also at a breaking point where that was a huge breakthrough Come and it be might be again. worth while she's got the confidence of doing it, trying to get mm -hmm. two more. Yeah. Yeah. Step up. Up. Over here. Go. Yes. So obviously you can see wow. I'm phasing out my impact on that. So this is this is cool. I think they're gonna be able to do this when we leave. Cheyenne, over here, ready, go! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Look at the smile. It says it all. <laughs> Just want to squeeze your cheeks. <laughs> Cheyenne, are you ready? You ready? You ready? ready? Cheyenne, go! go. Cool, and we'll end there. Well, I'd say we certainly made a breakthrough this weekend. Yes. It took a few days, took a lot of encouragement, but she has never taken off from a solid surface before. Unless she like slipped and had to regain her balance, then she would fly to us, but she made the decision to leave that counter. And that was, that's huge. Well, and you said it, that's the breakthrough moment. And anytime we're dealing with adult birds who don't have a lot of experience flying, that is the defining moment that gives them the confidence to know that they can use flight as a means of transportation instead of a response to something incredibly scary. Yeah, so that yeah. was huge. And hopefully we can just keep working on that and progressing it more and more so it's, it doesn't take as much encouragement <laughs> as it did that time, but we'll just be able to keep working on it from here on forward. Yeah, I, I have all the faith in you guys. I think you guys are going to do amazing. And just in those few reps that we did from all the encouragement and jumping up and down, I mean, I was definitely jumping up and down, uh, <laughs> to where we got to. I mean, I'm, yeah. I, there was a second there where I legitimately was thinking about giving up. I was just really getting discouraged and frustrated. <laughs> and then we had that breakthrough moment and she seems so proud of herself that I'm so proud of you. And I think you guys are going to go yeah. really far. And I, the longest time we've had her for so long, we don't really, we were talking about this the other day, we don't really see her as a bird anymore. We just see her as she's Cheyenne. And then when we started rethinking of her as a bird again, we're like, she's not a trainable bird. She's just... Cheyenne. Her. She's just Cheyenne. <laughs> so that's why we were so doubtful. We've seen her sit there and not do anything yeah, so often. Yeah, I just don't see her. And I still have a tough time seeing her as a bird, honestly. Yeah. So it's cool to see her actually using those wings and being a bird. And she actually is trainable is what we learned this weekend. Oh, so hey! She I guess it. I guess she can be trained, which I didn't <laughs> think she could. I had my doubts. So can Cheyenne. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and throughout the weekend, or as the weekend progressed, you may have noticed watching that we switched from me holding her with my arm, which I've been doing for the past 16 years that I've had her, to holding her in my hand. And there actually is a reason for that. Can you explain why we yes. transitioned to hand yeah. holding? And it was one of the first conversations I had with you to see how receptive you were to it. And the main reason is that when birds are held on the arm, or even you catch them on your arm, they can easily fall off. And 
you had problems with her shoulder rushing you like she really mm -hmm. wanted to be up here and that's an avoidance behavior where they're mm -hmm. avoiding something that they're uncomfortable about and they're more easily able to do that when they're on your arm because it's quick access to your shoulder mm -hmm. whereas on your hand you're quickly able to feel oh my bird is a little bit like there's a little bit of tension there. there's yeah. a little bit of discomfort there what can I change or modify to make my bird more comfortable before they've already made it up your shoulder mm -hmm. if that kind of makes sense yeah. do you want to expand on that yeah and so we define it as emotional intelligence and so when they're on your hand that's where you feel the first signs of fear versus by the time they hit your shoulder you miss the opportunity to work through that mm -hmm. and so when you can feel those first signs of fear it gives you the opportunity to work through it she's obviously an amazing bird and really yeah. well desensitized so it's going to be for these fewer occasions now where there is something that she's unsure about you'll feel it plus it's a more just secure and safe way to do any sort of handling with her because you'll just have a sense of something prior to it becoming an issue yeah that's really clear and concise and i still remember your facial expression when i was like, hey, can you just try catching her on your hand? Yeah, and she landed <laughs> on my hand, no problem. I have it yeah. in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, what I think is really eye-opening and just crazy in general is I went to college and I studied birds or ornithology. I went to the American Federation of Aviculture and started avi studied aviculture. I studied with Dr. Pat Reddig with like handling and grooming and uh, Barbara hein Heinrich, right? Yep. Heinrich, I've read her work before and there's still more to learn. Like yes, I still, I, I consider myself pretty knowledgeable about birds. I've had birds longer than reptiles, yeah. but we still learned so much this weekend with okay. you guys. So That's awesome. thank you for yeah, having you. a masterclass here. Hopefully Hopefully do it again sometime so that we can show you how Cheyenne has progressed. Yeah, for sure. We would I can't to wait see to see. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely go check out Bird Tricks' YouTube channel. They'll have a, one or two videos on Cheyenne's. At least two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, her progress throughout the weekend. So definitely go check and that out. And the masterclass. And the masterclass. There will be videos from the other birds from this weekend. They didn't too. just come up to train Cheyenne. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty convincing. <laughs> they had to train a bunch of other birds too. <laughs> True. Make the trip worth it. <laughs> uh, thank you as always to our Patreon backers as well for your very generous support and we'll see you next time.